to zan ba kokono mkulu kuse yona i koko bati nimbata tv ku youtube please don't forget to press the subscribe button uh, today today would like us to talk about the the, the calling itself uh, you know you know you know when one uh, touches the, the the issue of calling it, it, it's something that i can talk about throughout the year throughout my years that are remaining probably uh, i can even die w without explaining with, I can even die trying to explain to somebody who doesn't want to hear. A, a, a calling, it's not something that you, you ask for. It's not a sickness. It's not a disease. Uh, it's a calling. It, that, that's how it is. It, it's, it's, you're not sick when you have a calling. You don't have a problem when you have a calling. You just have that. You have a calling. You are chosen. You are the chosen one amongst your siblings, amongst your, the people in your family. There's somebody that was a traditional healer in your family that have chosen you to carry on with their work. That has nothing to do with sickness, but you are the chosen one. You are the loved one. And they've realized that you are actually strong. You are the one who can actually carry their ancestral duty. In the in on earth, so that's why they have chosen you to become a traditional healer. But when it comes to you being told by me for the first time that you're supposed to be a traditional healer, no, that that's not you, you don't you, you don't have a calling. Because if you are gifted to become a traditional healer. It's something that you know. There are symptoms that you must know. There are things, there are dreams. I'll talk about... Uh, this is a general video. That's why I present it in English. So that we, 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 we talk to as many people as possible. And then as we go along, we're going to unpack it. For now, I'm just going to talk about it in a general way in the most general way possible. I cannot be the first person to tell you that you have a calling. That's, that's not a calling. There are things, there are dreams, there, 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 there are circumstances, there, 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 are, there are things that are happening in your life that you do not understand. That formula, it can equal to the issue of a, a calling. You might not know that the symbols or the things that are happening in your life, what exactly do they mean? But when you are have a traditional healer, a traditional healer, you say, you say, then, uh, uh, my course, uh, you, you have a calling. And then you ask, how so? And then he, he must tell you, that's how you dreamt of this, you dreamt of this. And those dreams, they mustn't be too general. They must tell you your dreams, that what you have dreamt about. So that we can believe that particular traditional healer, that indeed you, you have a calling. Besides that, you, you need to ask yourself many questions. Because... I visited many places, South Africa, provinces, uh, southern countries, and, and beyond. And you, you, you can see when you get there, it's like, no, man, this person is not to us a lot. He, he, this person, he or she, they don't have a calling. Never. Not this one. And I've, I've rescued many people, but through talking to uh, the trainers, the Okobela, back on, to say, uh, I'm not here to intervene and everything. What is his story about her? What is his story about him? No, it was in, in, in. Then I was like, politely, I don't think he has a calling. Politely. Uh, and I, I have my way. Right now, I'm not putting it the way I normally put it. But I have my way of showing respect to another traditional healer when I address such issues. Uh, you will see. You, you, you get to the place, uh, you don't. You stop dreaming, uh, or you have never dreamed before, and they always tell you that no, you will dream and everything. Uh, there are dreams that when you dream about them, it's, it's a showcase. Which you are a traditional healer, you are going to help people, and we're also going to talk in the next videos. That's why it's very important for you to subscribe. In the next videos, we're also going to talk about the different kinds of traditional healers. It's not everybody is going to be a Sangoma, it's not everybody is going to be Inyang, it's not everybody that is going to be a prophet so you need to find if they say you have a calling you said okay which calling what i am called for there are people that are, are, are excited to, to train because to train people is money 
it's a cow. If, if I train you, it's a cow in a veil of cash. So I train you, you pay me. Every month there's a money that you pay. You pay my look for it's a, I'll call it an ancestral registration fee. There is that fee. You pay. So other people, it, to them it's money. To them, they don't care about you. As long as you believe that they say you are, you are a traditional healer and then you start preparing and everything. And at the end of the day, you are doomed. You go out at home, they celebrate and everything. You don't even know what to do. You don't even know uh, how to ukhlo And again, to the issue of Sangomas, I'm still going to go deep. It's not all the Sangomas that can bola, that can be able to see your problems. Not all of them. Others are not gifted in that. Other Sangomas are gifted to, to train only. Other Sangomas are gifted to, 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 to help you if you have a calling that is complicated. The, the, all of us, we have different gifts when it comes to a, a traditional healing. Most importantly, and in closing, I also have to, uh, you know, talk about the issue that the way I do things, I must not expect all the traditional healers to do things. It is wrong. It is wrong for us traditional healers, especially uh, us that um, we have an opportunity to be in the social media. We always criticize this thing is not happening, this thing is happening. You, if you can listen to all my videos, I try as much as I can to be as general as possible when it comes to uh, talking about issues of traditional healing because it's a very sens sensitive issue. That's why there's under war fight that is happening amongst us as traditional healers because I, I come up with this angle uh, people are worried to say, hey, this guy is now taking us out of the business. No, on this video, I'm just saying it straight. If you are a born traditional healer, there are symptoms. It's like if you're going to be a king, there are things that you are born with. There's habits that you are born with. There's attitude that you are born with. There's a gift that you are born with. There are certain things that you do things. You don't just do things like anybody else. You don't just, you know, you are unique. There are things that are showing that you are the traditional healer. So on this video, I just want to say to you, ask questions. Anything you want to know about a calling, about being a traditional healer, what is it? Let's talk about it. Let's talk about your dreams. Let's talk about things. At the bottom, you can leave your messages. You can inbox me, uh, info at batinimbata.co.za, Koko uh, Batinimbata TV on YouTube, 083-533-9183. You can uh, send me, a, 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 make me a call. Don't send a WhatsApp. I don't read WhatsApp from the clients. I don't. It's a disrespect. Don't send it. Send a message here, and then I'll give you my number if you didn't take it. I'll also post it when I post this video. Make a point that you call me so that we talk. Thank you very much. Coco Batin and Butter TV on YouTube. Don't forget to press that subscribe button for more videos to come, especially regarding calling. These videos you will see, I'll title them very unique. I'll just say, Ubizo Stroke Calling, and then I'll be specific. What is it that I'm talking about? on that particular video so that we unpack it so that because if you can talk about it in one video the video is going to be too long there's data involved there's time involved we don't have that time in the in the days that we're living in thank you very much Coco Batinabata TV on YouTube don't forget to press that subscribe button see you next time bye